Farming is going high tech. From self-driving tractors to sprayers that give performance reports on fields to robots that pot and seed and fertilize all on their own, Artificial intelligence is on the cusp of reinventing how things are grown and harvested. Being able to decide what to plant, what crop to plant, what variety of that crop, and what treatments to use on a particular soil, in a particular field, in a particular year, those decisions to a large extent are going to be influenced by AI as we go into the future. Here at Iowa State University, special drones and 3D cameras can map fields looking for signs of pests, disease, and nutrient deficiencies. Then more and more in the next five to 10 years, you're gonna see uh, even a significant jump on uh, reasoning and decision making. So once we detect these things, what do we do about it? There's similar work going on at North Carolina State University, where researchers use an AI-assisted microscope to better find infestation patterns of small worms called nematodes, which can wipe out crops like sweet potatoes. We're not going to fully replace the technicians and the diagnosticians who are doing a lot of the, the work with these nematodes, these microscopic worms, but this tool is going to make them better at their jobs. Tractors are also getting some high-tech upgrades. Here, an AI camera system is attached right onto a field sprayer. We run the machine learning models on here, and we can immediately give a farmer a map of their field back after they have sprayed it saying this is how your cover crop performed. And don't be surprised when you see more and more tractors driving themselves while onboard computers gather massive data from fields. I'm getting automatic insights. You know, I'm uploading the data from all of my crops that I drove past today. And in the cloud, I have an artificial intelligence system that's running an AI algorithm to say, hey, you really should go look at these three things in your farm. At a tech startup called Agai, crops like kale, lettuce, and strawberries are fully grown by robots controlled by AI in indoor controlled environments. So we've got the ability to understand what the crop is doing and modify the environment at any given point to improve that or induce various changes that we want to see. If we want to increase the spiciness or the flavors of arugula, we've got a recipe for that that leverages AI. There are questions about AI in farming. Will it be too expensive for small farmers? And who controls the farm data? Is it safe? And will AI lead to a loss of skilled labor jobs? Still, advocates remain hopeful. I think at the end of the day, AI is just another tool, just like any other technology, properly leveraged could really improve operations within the farm.